solve x raised to 4 minus 6, 6x squared plus 25 and graph its four solution. Okay. So first, this is a fourth degree polynomial and uh, you should be knowing as it's a fourth degree, there should be four uh, solutions of four roots. Okay. So let's write the equation again. So x raised to 4 minus 6x squared plus 25 is equal to 0. So I'm going to write the next step, which is the most crucial step. So I'm going to write this as x squared plus phi, the whole squared, is equal to 0. Now, I hope you know, if you expand this, this would be x, uh, x squared plus uh, 10x squared plus 25. So this and this are not the same. But I want to write this as this. Okay, so let me write this again. Now, if you expand this, so let me write x squared plus phi, the whole squared, if you expand it, uh, I hope you know it should be x raised to 4. Let me write this properly. Okay, so x squared plus phi, the whole squared. If you expand it, you should know this is my pen is not working perfectly. So this is equal to x raised to 4 plus, uh, this is 10x squared plus 25. Okay, plus 25. But I have got minus 6x squared. Now to rectify this or to correct it, I'm going to write minus 16x squared. Okay, so now this and this are one and the same. Okay, so the next step I can write this as x squared plus phi, the whole squared is equal to 16x squared. So if I take square root of one side, if you want to remove the square root, so I square, I have to take the square root, I have to take the square root of this side. Now as this, there is a number there, I have to put plus or minus. So this becomes x squared plus phi, is equal to plus or minus 4x. Okay, square root of 16x squared is 4x and you got plus or minus. So this means that you got two quadratic equation x squared plus phi is equal to 4x or x squared plus phi is equal to minus 4x. Now making it a quadratic equation, this becomes x squared minus 4x plus phi equal to zero, and this becomes x squared plus 4x plus phi is equal to zero. Now this is a quadratic equation. I'm going to solve this using completing the square method. So this is x squared minus 4x is equal to negative phi. So to make it a complete square, well, I should add four here. So it also add four to this side. So this becomes x minus 2 the whole squared is equal to negative 1. And negative 1, I hope you know, is i squared. Because i is defined as square root of negative 1. So now again, taking square root of both sides, you can say x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of i squared. You're taking square root of this side, so you're taking square root of this side, you're taking square root of this side. So you can say x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus i. Plus or minus i. So x is equal to 2 plus or minus i. So these are the two roots when you solve the first quadratic equation. Now the same process here, so you can say x squared plus 4x is equal to negative 5. Uh, I'm going to add, I'm going to add plus 4 to this side, so add 4 to this side. So this becomes x plus 2 the whole squared is equal to negative 1, so I should write plus 4 properly, so this is plus 4. So this is minus 1, I'm directly writing i squared. 
So x plus 2 taking square root of both sides is equal to plus or minus i. So x is equal to minus 2 minus i. Now we want to graph this plus or minus i, sorry. So to graph this, let me do a sketch of it. So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. So say this is i, this is 2i, this is minus i, this is minus 2i. So this is your z-axis, this is your imaginary axis, and this is your x-axis, which is your real axis. So you've got 1 and 2, so this is 1 and 2 here. Yeah. So this is negative 1 and negative 2. So you've got four points. You've got 2 plus i comes here. 2 minus i is here. So this is 2 plus i. And this is 2 minus i. This point is minus 2 minus i. Sorry, minus 2 plus i. This is minus 2 plus i. And this point is negative 2 minus i. So now if we, these are the four points. Now just to explain one more thing. Now let me draw. They are, if you draw a rectangle, so you can draw a rectangle. So you can see the points are on the rectangle. Okay, they are also on because using trigonometry uh, you can understand this this length. So let me draw a right angle triangle. So if you draw a right angle triangle here, this is us using Pythagoras. So this is 2 and this is 1. So this is using Pythagoras. So this will be root 5. Same way this would also be root 5. This will also be root 5. And this will also be root 5. So you can draw a circle passing through. So let me draw a circle, try to draw it. Okay. And so yeah, you can say, I'll try to make it as perfect as possible. Okay. So this is the four points you can see are on a circle. These are the four points. Okay, these are four points, and these four points are on this circle, having the equation of x squared plus y squared is equal to 5. If you have learned the equation of a circle, the equation of a circle centered at 0, 0 is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So here the radius is square root of 5, so r squared will become 5, and that's why I wrote. The radius of this circle is root 5, and the center is 0, 0.